uh, we uh, can ask ourselves how does the plant produce the starch to understand what the hypersystem introduced in our research as you see here that the plant can produce the starch in the process of photosynthesis uh, the water here in the soil and the carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight the plant has the ability to produce the oxygen and the sugars especially the glucose glucose can be uh, 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 can be converted to the starch in uh, Calvin cycle as we will see you see here in brief this is the leaf when we take section in this leaf to see the cell structure you will see the chloroplast uh, inside the chloroplast there are cycloids a group of cycloids consists the grana this is grana this is grana between the grana there are the stroma in this process photosynthesis the plant in the morning in the solar light can produce ATP and NADPH we can use NADPH and ATP in Calvin cycle to produce the glucose and the starch you see here this is the cycloid membrane you see here the water in the soil can be separated to three elements the first element is oxygen can go out from the cycloid membrane and the stroma to the air the second element is this electron when the light down you see here in photosystem 2 the electron can transfer from photosystem 2 to photosystem 1 and can make combination with ferroxidine to produce NADPH this is the first energy element uh, as you see here this is the uh, hydrogen with osmosis process we see here the high concentration of hydrogen so this uh, hydrogen bonds can transfer uh, through the cycloid membrane and they make combination with ADB so the combination of ADB and uh, hydrogen can give us the second energy element ATB so during this process we can uh, produce NADPH and ATB in the morning in the presence of the solar light as you see here we can use ATB and ADB so ATB can be converted to ADB NADPH can be converted to NADB this is very high energy elements so in Calvin cycle we can transfer ribulose 1 and 5 uh, by phosphate in the presence of CO2 uh, and making carbon fixation to convert uh, this to this element and finally to uh, glycerol high 3 phosphate uh, about 12 molecules of this will produce we can take two of these molecules to produce the uh, sugar especially glucose glucose can transfer to the starch and the uh, other uh, 10 molecules can be around again in the Calvin cycle and repeat it more and more